Yes, friends. Next VSQ from our series. That is from Dhruva Edutainment and Vidu classes. What is that question, friends? What is the difference between the hydrozones and the rest of the nidarians? regarding the germinal layers in which its defensive structures or cells defense occur friends please read question properly if you know the meaning of the question you can write the answer friends what is the difference between the hydrozones and rest of the nidarians friends the rest of the nidarians meet what see phylum nidaria has three classes friends Hydrozoa, Scyphozoa, and Anthozoa. Friends, Hydrozoa, Scyphozoa, Anthozoa. Here, rest of the Nidarians means you have to recall Scyphozoa and Anthozoa. Friends, first you have to recall three classes of the phylum Nidaria. What are those three classes? Hydrozoa, Scyphozoa, Anthozoa. Friends, first one. Friends, next regarding the germinal layers. Friends, what are germinal layers? Nidarians have only two germinal layers, friends. They are the diploblastic animals. What are those two germinal layers? One is ectoderm, <coughs> and other one is endoderm. Friends, ectoderm and endoderm. In nidarians, endoderm is also called as gastroderm, friends. You have to recall it, friends. They have only two layers. Because of that, we are calling them as diploblastic animals. What are those two layers? ectoderm and endoderm friends in which its defensive structures defense what are defense structures you know friends nidarians have defensive cells they are called as what nidoblasts because of that only they got the name nidaria friends okay now once again you read the question properly friends what is the difference between the hydrozones and rest of the nidarians regarding the germinal layers in which its defensive structure or cells of defense occur Second one, came are all friends? Hydrozone low, but your Migita Nidarians low. Defensive cells A layer low, untai, mana answer you all friends. Now come to friends. Nidoblasts are defensive structures of Nidarians. Friends, you have to write first this. Friends, what are defensive structures of Nidarians? That is Nidoblasts. Nidoblasts, friends, very very important. Nidoblasts are the defensive structures of the Nidarians. You may call it as nematocyst. You may call it as stinging cells, friends. But you have to remember it. Nidoblasts. Nidoblasts are the defensive structures of the Nidarians. See, friends, in hydrozoans, nidoblasts are present only in ectoderm, friends. Very very important, friends. In hydrozoans. Nidoblasts are present only in ectoderm, whereas in other nidarians, what are other nidarians, friends? Other nidarians are what? They are Scyphozoa and Anthozoa. They are present in both ectoderm and endoderm. Simple, friends. Hydrozoans have nidoblasts only in the ectoderm. Other nidarians, like Scyphozoans and Anthozoans, have nidoblasts. Both ectoderm and endoderm. See, friends, simple. You have to remember this thing. See, hydrozoa. In which layer, friends? Ectoderm. Scyphozoa. Ectoderm and endoderm. Anthozoa. Ectoderm and endoderm. See, friends. This is what, friends? This is our nidoblast. Nidoblast. Stinging cell. Nematocyst of the nidarians. Okay, friends. Once again, here you have to write three words, friends. One is what friends? Nidoblasts. Second one, hydrozoans have nidoblasts in the ectoderm. Scyphozoans and anthozoans have nidoblasts in the ectoderm and endoderm. Okay, friends. Thank you. Good day.